How's it going everybody, Ari here, and in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you a $10 million e-commerce brand so that you, as a potential e-commerce store owner or as an existing e-commerce store owner, can get a ton of inspiration and learn a lot. Ultimately, that's the goal of these videos. So if that sounds interesting to you in any way, shape, or form, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. We mainly talk about e-commerce on this channel and a little bit of investing sprinkled in between. And I would love to have you join our family here. So with that said, I don't want to waste any time here. The brand we're talking about is Blizzy. And no, it's not that type of Blizzy. It's a completely different kind of Blizzy. It's really a sleep brand. And it's funny because actually when I first saw this brand, it was only a sleep brand. But now they've actually started to dive into other areas that are still somewhat related to their niche. So for example, they're diving into uh, skincare, and wellness stuff they even got face masks so that's kind of funny and hair accessories things that could be complementary to the sleep niche so the first thing here we're gonna do is analyze their store then we're gonna look at their social media and then lastly we'll take a look at some of their ads so that you can get the full picture here and basically what we can see here from their website is just a very simple website this almost reminds me of the debut theme on shopify which is a free theme which by the way i finally got a shopify affiliate link so if you want to start your shop Shopify free trial and support the channel, boom, you can do that with the link in the description. Pretty cool, shout out to Shopify. One thing to know before we look at the product page is they are using a lot of bundles here, which is a really, really smart way to get a higher average order value, which then really helps you run ads better, acquire customers for a little bit of a higher price, therefore scaling your business. So this is a very genius idea right here, is creating sets. And you can do that basically with any kind of product, right? So even if you didn't wanna start a sleep brand, you could do something like that. As you can see, just the simple search term sleep is on a continuous steady uptrend. Like literally, this is the strongest trend that you could possibly look at. And this brand is taking full advantage of that, just launching a ton of sleep related products. But again, you could start a sleep brand and launch any type of product that is related to sleep and still be in a good position to succeed, especially when you take a look at a trend like this that is definitely not gonna stop. So now let's take a look at some of their actual products. So this one seems to be their best seller. It has 12,000 reviews, it's just a white pillowcase how simple right and wow this landing page actually reminds me a lot of Ambrose masks I don't know if you guys remember a video we did on them I'll link it somewhere here if you want to check it out but basically this mask brand was doing like a million dollars a month just selling masks and their landing page was extremely simple I fell in love with it because I'm just obsessed with simplicity like this I just think it's so cool but Blizzy is doing something somewhat similar I guess it's not really that similar but it's just simple and really that's what I wanted to highlight it's just the simplicity here sleep better sleep cooler and wake up with clear skin and beautiful hair that's a really good line so like if I was starting a sleep brand I would take notes on this right away like this is such a good headline it's so concise but you get all the benefits that you could possibly want I mean who doesn't want to sleep cooler and better and wake up with clear skin and beautiful hair right like it sounds too good to be true and it probably is I mean it's just the pillowcase but even the fact that they showcase the fabric I mean that kind of allows you you to do your own research and maybe potentially create your own type of products as you can see even if we just look that up on alibaba.com we can start finding some very very similar products and then you can just private label them to be your own so that's kind of the full step-by-step -step process and that's why i love making these videos because it's kind of a full course on creating a potential business and the rest of their landing page is pretty fancy i will say i mean they really really go hard at hammering in the benefits and even with this before and after tab right here like that's pretty dope skin saving like they're just basically elaborating on their claim here at the top but i guarantee you a lot of people if they have some convincing ads would just straight up buy it after this now i'm even starting to think about buying one of these these look really nice especially this black one now again their cart super simple nothing fancy at all and their checkout is also extremely simple they're not even using shopify plus it's just a normal shopify checkout with their branding so extremely simple now i want to take one second to plug one of my companies here called netsphere and basically if you want to be more involved in e-commerce and join a more private sort of incubator type of community and get a free e-commerce course with it then i strongly encourage you to check this out it's going to be the first link in the description it's honestly amazing i'm really proud of this and i'm so happy with 
all the people that have joined and how much they're loving it as well. And I'm really passionate about it. So I'm excited to continue to pump out new content, bring in some seven figure guests. In fact, this Friday, I'm interviewing somebody that's done over $3 million with drop shipping live in the Discord channel that you get access to when you join. So check out the link in the description, sign up today, and I would love to welcome you there. And if you guys want me to drop that interview next week on YouTube, then just leave me a comment and I'll post it sometime next week. But moving on to their social media, I mean, they've done pretty well. And what I want to say is that they're clearly an omni-channel brand. I mean, look at their Instagram has 67K followers. They're posting basically every single day, literally every day, sometimes even multiple times a day. I will say they don't have the most engagement for the size of their brand and for being a $10 million brand, but it just goes to show that posting every day is just really a way to show that your brand is active and to share products and, you know, hopefully reach more people. But I like this as an example that, you know, you don't need to be viral on Instagram in order to become a $10 million brand. On Pinterest, however, they're much more impressive and they're getting 1.8 monthly viewers to their page and they are posting a lot on here. So Super cool. Pinterest is definitely underrated, but something that a lot of eight figure brands use, especially in these kinds of niches. Now, I want to point out that they do also have a YouTube channel and they do post shorts on their YouTube channel as well. So, for example, they got one here that they recently posted. Hey, y'all, check out my blissy pillowcase. And it's just a classic UCG style video. Then lastly, they got their Twitter, which isn't very impressive, but they're just clearly reposting all the content that they post on Instagram to Twitter. And they're doing the same thing on Facebook, which surprisingly, Facebook has a decent amount of engagement for them. They have over 250,000 likes on their page. So pretty interesting, nothing too exciting or innovative going on with their social media pages. Clearly, this brand is getting most of their results from running ads. So that leads us to the the next segment here, which is their paid media. Let's look at their ads. So right away, we can see that they're doing a lot of UCG ads. These are like TikTok style ads. And some of you guys asked me like, Ari, how do you make these kinds of ads? And it's much easier than you think. I would just start by first of all, ordering whatever product you're thinking of selling, and then just literally going on TikTok, browsing TikTok a lot, getting ideas from other creators and viral content that you're seeing on your feed and start going at it. I mean, that's just my personal philosophy. A lot of people like to be, you you know, perfectionist and try to do everything perfect. I vibe more with the philosophy of like failing fast and just doing, but they are testing a lot of different ad variations. I mean, as you can see here, they're doing some with a lot of emojis, some picture ads, like look at this is a ridiculous amount of text. I don't really see that too often. So they're mixing a lot of different things, which is really cool. I mean, they clearly got their media buying down to a science. They're doing like testimonial ads, picture ads. They're doing a lot of this like traditional kind of like drop shipping ad, which is very interesting. Mixing it with UCG videos. UCG, by the way, means user generated content. So overall, super impressive brand. You know, they're estimated to have made 50 to 100 million in sales. So easily a $10 million valuation. And they only got started in 2019. So extremely impressive. And again, there's so much to learn from them especially when it comes to their media side of things. Like they're even testing meme kind of ads. They're testing everything. So I'm guessing their ad budget is ridiculous. But with that said, I hope you learned something from this video. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you on my next one. Peace.